I feel like this is like a 12-step program for GoDaddy users. Like, if you've been hurt by GoDaddy, this is the video to watch. If you're using GoDaddy for domains or web products, you may not realize you're being robbed. You need to stop using GoDaddy, and here's why. So what is GoDaddy? Well, GoDaddy is a top marketplace to buy domains, web hosting, email hosting, any sort of web product you would use to build your website. They were founded in 1997, and you may know them from their Super Bowl ads or aggressive online marketing over the years. So why is GoDaddy relevant? Well, GoDaddy is sort of like the Walmart of web products. That's because they spend a lot of money on marketing to keep a clean image and get the general public to recognize them. I happen to think they have one of the best looking websites I've ever seen, and I don't say that lightly. I'm pretty particular about UIs and visuals, and GoDaddy does a great job. They are expert marketers at getting their site to look very engaging and appealing. It's apparent that GoDaddy has a huge user base by the brand recognition they have. It begs the question, how could something be wrong with GoDaddy? I mean, they have to be doing something right for all these people to be using them, right? First, GoDaddy is overcharging you for basic web products and you may not know what a fair price even is. This continues in their sea of upsells where they're trying to sell you products you don't need and make it seem like a big deal. Oh, don't you want privacy protection for $10 a year? We promise it'll keep your domain from being hacked. Well, you may not even know that the main way to protect your domain name from compromise is to stop people from logging into your domain registrar account. So if you buy a domain from GoDaddy, you have a username and password on your GoDaddy account, and you can also enable two-factor authentication for free. But GoDaddy is just blindly trying to tell people, hey, if you want, extra security on your domain, pay us $10 a year or whatever it is for their advanced privacy protection. It's evolved over the years, but they're still doing it. They're charging you for things you shouldn't be paying for, like SSL certificates. And GoDaddy is the only domain registrar I've ever seen that will list domain prices monthly depending on the price. Sometimes it's annual, sometimes it's monthly, but in the domain industry, everything operates in annual payments. You pay for a year of your domain name, period, regardless of where you register it. But GoDaddy is playing this shady game of saying, for only $3 a month, you could have this domain name. But you might say, okay, Christian, sure, GoDaddy charges a lot of money, but isn't that valid if they have really good service? I mean, you yourself just said they have one of the best looking websites out there, and everybody knows about GoDaddy. So it has to be good, right? Right? No, I mean, their dashboard is atrocious. Have you ever even tried to change name servers in the GoDaddy dashboard? I have never seen such an incompetent interface where I'm scratching my head and I'm frustrated left wondering, how do I just change the name servers and point my domain to my web hosting? You know what, producer Matthew over here does not use GoDaddy. I mean, he's used it in the past, but it's been a while since he's used GoDaddy. Now, I've just tried this the other day, so I sort of know how you change a name server, but producer Matthew, it's been a hot minute, hasn't it? Yeah, I haven't used GoDaddy in years, probably. So. Yeah, so let, you know, let's get you over here. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm in the dashboard um and wow this is dumbed down uh is this the domain that we're using yes okay uh manage domain maybe use my domain contact information who is privacy use my domain is that do anything oh nope that's a self-flow page so we're gonna try to get you to buy hosting or buy a website builder. Maybe it's in their DNS. Uh, manage zones. Uh, okay. Ah, name servers. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, hello? Okay. Connect my domain to a website I've built. Ew! <laughs> what do I do? I just select WordPress? Or connect? Oh, to this my is probably WordPress. Oh yeah, this is the WordPress.com. Uh, okay, going back. 
Name servers, change. Ah, there it is. Oh my goodness. So why is changing a setting like this so difficult? I mean, you just saw GoDaddy has a beautiful website. The buttons are elegant. Everything looks clean and nice. Surely they know what they're doing with UI design. And they do. They're designing it this way on purpose. The entire GoDaddy system is knit together so that you'll get frustrated and end up just buying the GoDaddy website builder. Like, hey, if you have a GoDaddy domain, it's so easy to connect it to the GoDaddy website builder and use that to build your website. Or, hey, if you're set on WordPress, Haha, ha, lucky for you, GoDaddy sells WordPress hosting. And of course, they're gonna make it super easy to connect your domain name to WordPress hosting. And look, it's not bad for this to be a thing with a domain registrar. I mean, most any domain registrar sells web hosting and maybe a website builder, and they're all gonna make it easy to connect your domain from that registrar to the website builder of the same company. That's sort of standard. But what isn't standard is trying to make changing your name servers to something else hard. I have never seen a domain registrar before who's intentionally trying to stop you from pointing your domain to another web host because they just don't want you to do it. They want you to spend more money on them. Now, it's not exactly wrong for a company to want customers to buy multiple products from them, but the quality of GoDaddy products is just so bad. And don't expect GoDaddy's other products to be that great either. The same concept applies of overcharging and under-delivering to their web hosting and their website builder. I have reviews for both of these products on my channel. The managed WordPress hosting is actually among the best GoDaddy hosting I've ever tried. I have seen their products improving and I've legitimately noticed the experience get refined and more intuitive over the years. I think there are people at GoDaddy on certain teams that really mean well and they do want to make the product as good as it can be. But unfortunately, no matter how good a team makes a particular product, like the managed WordPress hosting, which I'm kind of a fan of, it's still GoDaddy. It's still being sold by the company that's gonna try and charge you for things that you don't need, get you to pay way too much for a particular product, and no amount of good in that sea of bad is ever worth pursuing. Now let's talk customer support. The customer support at GoDaddy is generally terrible. The live chat is just bad. The reps can never seem to understand your problem and you're having to over explain or repeat yourself. They don't speak very clearly. That's just a poor experience. Now the phone support is rather interesting because if you call GoDaddy, you're sure to experience not very long hold times, which is great. And also the reps speak very clearly. They're easy to understand. So in other words, you call GoDaddy, you get to talk to someone relatively quickly, they're clear speakers, it seems promising. You're kind of going, great, I think this is gonna be a pretty good support experience. But unfortunately, in my experience, I've noticed that the reps are more salespeople than support people. Yeah, they're smooth talkers and they'll chat you up and say, hey, tell me about what you're doing. What is your business? What do you sell? What do you make? They act very interested in you because they're trying to sell you more products. They'll say, hey, have you tried the GoDaddy website builder? It's got an online store. We can help you sell your product. And they're quick to identify products that they want you to buy. But as soon as you say, oh no, I'm actually just calling about this technical issue, then the holds start. You're constantly put on hold. They have to look stuff up. They're usually not very helpful. And I've also seen this pattern of GoDaddy phone reps trying to turn it around and put it on you and basically tell you, well, you're doing something wrong. Oh yeah, you're using WordPress? Well, WordPress is not a GoDaddy product, so even though you have WordPress web hosting, yeah, you're just gonna have to figure it out. I, I've seen them make up crap like this and just, it, it, it's almost like they're masters at manipulation. Like they try and flip things and genuinely make you feel like, oh, oh yeah, I'm the problem here. I just did something wrong. 
That's unacceptable. It's nonsense. It's absolute crap. No web host or domain registrar should ever be treating you this way. It should be, I'm so sorry you're experiencing this issue. Let's figure out the solution. I passionately hold a grudge against GoDaddy because I've seen so many business owners spend a lot of money on GoDaddy products just to have a lackluster website that's ultimately hurting their business in the long run. I've been making videos on web products and domains for years, so the topic of GoDaddy has come up in many of my videos, and I can't tell you how many comments I've read from business owners who either say, oh my goodness, I was with GoDaddy for years, everything you said is true, I am so happy I switched away, or people who haven't bought a domain name yet and they say, thank you for saving me. I've watched your videos, I've read the comments of other people and read their experiences and I'm so glad I avoided this pothole and this mistake of going into the GoDaddy ecosystem. So next time you're gathered around the dinner table at Thanksgiving and Uncle Jim is telling you, yeah, just go down to GoDaddy and get you a domain and some web hosting for your blog that you keep saying you wanna start. You can say, no, uh-uh, I ain't doing this. I watched a Krayler made video. I learned that GoDaddy is horrible. Uncle Jim, you're not using GoDaddy, are you? Please tell me you're not using GoDaddy. If you're using GoDaddy, we need to get your domain transferred somewhere else. You're gonna tell the whole world, don't use GoDaddy. Stop, stop, please. Just, just do everybody a favor and let's normalize using anybody other than GoDaddy. So who else should you use? Yeah, so who else should you use? That is a great question. I would say Namecheap and Porkbun are great options. I also have an entire domain name registrar comparison you can watch covering many options, but Namecheap and Porkbun are two companies that I prefer. Namecheap is a great one-stop shop if you want domains and web hosting and email hosting all under one roof. You can do that at Namecheap and get a really great value. Or if you're simply after getting a cheap domain name and you're gonna buy web hosting elsewhere or use say Squarespace or Wix to build your website, Porkbun is a great option. They have some of the cheapest domain names in the industry, but they still deliver high quality service. And that begs the question, what should you look for in a domain registrar? It should be a mix of value, features, and customer support. You don't necessarily want to go for the cheapest domain name out there. I wanna stress that although I've been really hard on GoDaddy's pricing, I'm not against a company charging more for something if they can deliver a level of service that makes it worth the extra money. And a company like Namecheap I think is a great example of that. Namecheap is not the cheapest company out there. They're sort of middle of the road with pricing. They offer a great mix of value, features, and great customer support, so you're gonna be in good hands and you're not gonna have a frustrating experience. And if you already have a domain name at GoDaddy, don't panic, because you can actually transfer it out to any registrar. Unsurprisingly, GoDaddy doesn't make this a very easy process, but it's also not rocket science. There's nothing technical or scary about it. You've just gotta get in that panel and you've got to find the authorization code so that you can give that to your new domain registrar you're transferring to and they can take possession of that domain name. The only caveat here is if your domain name is newer than 60 days, meaning you bought it less than two months ago, you are not able to transfer it out from GoDaddy until it's been 60 days. And this is actually not something to be angry at GoDaddy for because this is not something that they are doing specifically. This is a regulation from ICANN, which is the organization that regulates domain names. They say that a domain should be at a registrar for 60 days before it is transferred to another registrar. So that is is actually one thing, although it's very frustrating, it's not really GoDaddy's fault, and although GoDaddy is annoying, your domain name will be fine living at GoDaddy for a few more months, you can point it to wherever you need to. I mean look, GoDaddy products are functional, it's just a very, very frustrating experience. So if you've used GoDaddy, I would love to know your experience in the comments below. Also be sure to check out my domain name registrar comparison to learn the best place to buy a domain name for your needs. With that said, I will catch you guys next time.